our ethos at Mountain Hub is discover, experience, and share the outdoors. Mountain Hub originated as a company called Avatech. Our two founders came up with this idea while they were in their graduate school at MIT. One of our founders, Brent Markle, had an incident where he was caught in an avalanche and the avalanche could have been avoided because there was a similar avalanche on a slope just one ridge line over. So they came up with an idea both through hardware and software that helps to collect information and share information about snow safety. Most people who recreate in the outdoors don't stop playing whenever the snow melts. So we decided to take Avatech to a year-round company and we created the new organization, Mountain Hub, to bring that information to our users for all activities around the year. So the foundation of the mobile app is you can be anywhere and be searching for real-time news feeds of conditions. But as soon as you open the app, you'll see a news feed in your area. It's just chronological of what people are submitting and information, trip reports, and you're able to contribute yourself. It's very, uh, very simple to contribute an observation, and that's going to affect what you're going to do that day. So most people who are going on a large ski tour or say a mountaineering trip, they have to check five or six different websites and applications to get the information about weather, about current conditions, about route information. Mountain Hub brings all that information together in one platform. In Little Cottonwood, we have Snowbird Ski Patrol using the application, Alta using the application, Powderbirds, and UDOT. So in one unique canyon, you have four different organizations who can communicate and share real-time information. It helps them to assess risk and, and make the environment a safer place for recreational users. On the hardware side of the business, we have two different connected devices right now, and we're working on more. These devices are digital snow sensing probes. What these probes do is they allow you to take a digital signature of snowpack structure and it helps to identify potential layers in the snowpack that might be of concern or cause an avalanche. We're continually working on new evolutions and, and we hope to make ourselves obsolete every year almost. But that's what a tech company should do is to continue to innovate and continue to learn quickly. And I think we're, we're good learners um, and, and good listeners ourselves and, and that shows in, in how far we've come in a short amount of time. We just finished up um, all the three major outdoor trade shows, which is Outdoor Retailer, SIA, and ISPO over in Europe. And we won Best in Show for each of the shows. One of the great awards that we won was the Outside Magazine Best in Show for SIA. Um, this is a, you know, a very prestigious award to win, and we were super excited to win it for the, the new scope poll that we're launching in fall of 2017. Um, it's been very exciting being in Park City to live a life surrounded in the passions that, uh, that we serve. The talent that we have, they can be working anywhere in the world and they choose to live in Park City here and blend their passion with their career. And that's very important to us and really kind of reflects in the, in the work we do. Park City has been very accepting to us. We love being here in Park City. It provides a great place to you know, raise a family, to come to work every day, bring our dogs to work. So we do love being in the Park City community and having a small tech sector here in Prospector and Park City as well.